Did you have a nice nap? Don't worry, you weren't snoring or anything. But I'd wipe that drool off your face if I were you. I'm kidding, you're fine. <laughs> so, what can I get for ya? Whoa, are you okay? You look like you wanna hurl. Hey, if you're not feeling well, the bathrooms are down that hallway. What did you do? Hey, kid, move away from the body. Officer. Your dad was an officer? Which precinct? I see. Well, why don't you come with me? Excuse me, everyone. I'd like your attention for a moment. I'm Detective Mikolai Gursky. Unfortunately, a dead body has just been discovered on this premises. What? But how? I mean, who? Unfortunately, I don't know anything about the situation yet. Because of this, I'm going to have to ask you all to stay here until the police come. Until they come? You mean the police aren't here yet? What about you? I'm technically not on duty right now, I just happen to be here. I see. If you don't mind, I'd like to speak with each of you separately for just a little bit. It'll help move the investigation along if I can start collecting information now. Is that okay? Sure. Anything to help. Yeah, it's okay with me. Y yes it's fine what about you kid right then we'll start with you come with me please how are you feeling you just saw a dead body and you're fine? Never mind. Let's just start with your name. Why not? 
An officer of the law is asking you a question. The Fifth Amendment is only applicable to testifying under oath in a court of law or other tribunal. Fine, no name then. Why don't you tell me what happened today? Uh, anything you think is pertinent. You fell asleep after you drank a triple shot mocha latte? Saw you snoozing when I came in. The mocha latte checkbox is checked off on the side of the cup, and the maroon sleeve around the cup is only used for triple shots. I am a detective, you know. So, around 2.40, you'd say. Ah, yes, I did see you looking a little ill when you were at the counter. What were you doing in the women's bathroom? Did you touch her? And why were you touching her? Is there anything else you'd like to say? Then please wait in the main area. Would anyone like to go next? I'll go. Then follow me. Surreal, isn't it? Knowing you're in the same building as a dead body, I mean. By the way, my name's Chance. <laughs> I get that a lot. The truth is, I changed my name. My parents named me Bertha. That's not exactly a good name for a famous singer. Not yet, but I want to be. I know it's a crazy dream, but I'm willing to take the chance. <laughs> That's why I chose that name, get it? Chance? I'm pretty cheesy, huh? Really? I didn't know that. You're pretty smart. That's cool. I know someone just like you. Um, nothing comes to mind. I saw her go to the bathroom earlier, but I wasn't paying attention. Still, I think I would have recognized her if she was someone I knew. Maybe around 2 o'clock? I'm not sure. 
Um, well, my shift starts around then, and she came in a little bit after I did. She looked like a secretary, so I thought it was weird that she'd come during working hours. I sure hope not. I don't know why he'd stick around anyway. Doesn't a murderer usually run after he kills someone? I hope I'm not interrupting anything. Nope, not interrupting anything. Then do you mind coming with me? Not at all. Don't touch me. I saw what you did. Just don't speak to me. Is something wrong? Actually, I'm pretty freaked out. But it hasn't really set in, you know? Part of me is hoping this is all just a hidden camera show or something. I'm sorry. You're the one who found the body, right? Is it scary? Seeing a dead body, I mean. You look pretty calm too, you know? My name's Kizaki. What about you? Oh yeah, I'm fine. It's okay if you don't want to say your name. Studying. I have an exam soon and I come here a lot since it's a quiet place with no distractions. So much for that. Yeah, but I'm only a part-time student. Even community college is expensive. I have to keep a part-time job just to stay afloat. Um, it's kinda hard to explain. I guess you could say I'm a sort of errand boy? I do odd jobs, fetch things, occasionally make tea for my boss, stuff like that. Killer? I thought she died from a heart attack or something. Oh no, this is even worse. What if the murderer is still here? What if we're all going to be picked off one by one until there's no one left? Oh yeah... I guess I overreacted. But it's still really creepy to think that someone was killed here. I hope that detective figures it out soon. I'm afraid I was pretty caught up in my work. I didn't really notice much about anyone else. Well, I think she may have been looking for someone. When she came in, she looked around a bit like she was expecting to see someone. 
I remember wondering if she was looking for you, and you just didn't notice her because you were asleep. Your turn, kid. Oh, right. I thought I told you not to speak to me. <laughs> Don't take me for a fool. Making snap judgments is my job, kid. In the real world, not everyone has the luxury of pandering around waiting for things to happen. Unlike you, I don't have mommy and daddy to cover my back if I don't make my own decisions. <laughs> More than you do, kid. That's enough. What do you think you're doing? Oh, Detective! This boy was threatening me! From what I understand, you provoked him. He's the one who approached me. Miss Bergstrom, that's still no excuse. As for you, do you have any idea of the situation you're in right now? What do you think you're doing? You're already on thin ice, kid, and that temper isn't doing much to help your case. You do realize that she's convinced you're the murderer, right? Acting like that only makes you look more suspicious. And I have to be honest, a lot of the evidence points towards you already. You were the first at the scene, and you even admitted to touching the body. There's not much that votes for your innocence. I can hold you for 48 hours before charging you with a crime. That's enough time to find more evidence. If you really want me to believe you, you're going to have to be a lot more cooperative. Obviously, you're interested in clearing your name, or whatever it may be. It works better if you work with me, not against me. Not particularly, but I don't have many options right now. I could tell you to sit this out and let the professionals handle this, but then you just go behind my back. I'd rather have you where I can keep an eye on you. So I'll let you talk around, but you have to tell me everything you learn. And for the record, this isn't a free pass to conduct your own investigation. I'm only saying you can talk with the others. Got it? According to her ID badge, her name is Sarah Blackmore. She works for a nearby company called BioDev Imaging. I really can't be sure. When will the crime scene investigators get down here? I see. Well, get here as soon as possible, then. Whoa! How long have you been there? How much of that conversation did you hear? So, pretty much everything, then. And do you have anything useful to tell me? Interesting. 
So, Sarah must have been killed sometime between 2 o'clock and 2.40. The first thing to do is see if anyone has an alibi for that time period then. Hmm, alright. Keep digging. <laughs> How's it going? Yeah, I called my manager and he said I should close for the day, so there's really no point in wearing my uniform anymore. But never mind that, how did it go? Talking with that detective, of course. Did he say anything? What did you tell him? <laughs> yeah. Working, of course. Afternoons like this are always slow so it's usually just me and the manager. Although my manager is currently out at the store. We ran out of soy milk. I forgot to restock yesterday and he kind of got mad at me. I had to come out here and clean all the espresso machines as punishment. Oh, is that his name? I've never seen him before. He does? I'm pretty sure I haven't seen him before. Maybe he usually comes at some other time? But I don't recall him doing anything weird. He came in, set up, and spent all his time working on homework. You mean that woman who looks like she's mad at you? Well, she definitely looked like she was in a hurry. Then again, she always does. All the time. And she always looks like she's in a hurry. I guess she's a busy woman. I'm pretty sure she works for Biodev Imaging. It's just on the street, so a lot of people who work there like to come by here. 
I'm afraid I don't know exactly what she does, though. I'm sorry, I'm really bad with names. Even if I did know her, I probably couldn't tell you. Okay. Come to try to beat me up again? What? Why are you even doing this? I guess it's okay then. What do you want to know? Hmm... Around two, I think I was finishing up some work in the office. Then I headed out for a late lunch. I usually grab a sandwich and an espresso from this place. Of course not. Everyone else had already left for lunch. Nothing. I went straight to the restroom, and then I saw you. I always wash my hands first. It's filthy to do anything else, and I can't exactly afford to be ill. I can't say I do. Should I? I see. All right. I see. Is everything okay? It looked like Detective Gursky was lecturing you about something. He's a pretty imposing guy. I guess I'm just worried he's gonna arrest me or something. What? No, of course not! I was just saying. Um, studying, mostly. I was also chatting with a friend online. Sometimes I get distracted. S Sarah? Um, no, I don't think I do. Yeah, I noticed that. There isn't an alarm on the door either, so it's possible that the murderer escaped through there without being detected. 
If the murderer did go through there, he or she was probably the last person who passed through. It's possible that there was some evidence left behind in there. Do you know what Ms. Bergstrom does at BioDev Imaging? It probably wouldn't hurt to ask her. I see. Duct tape? Hmm. Perhaps the killer used it to restrain Sarah. Hmm. Alright. 